Hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and of course, as always, with my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. This is actually part two of our coverage of what was Hurricane Hillary. I had hoped to go live, but we're kind of in a desert area outside of Phoenix where I couldn't get the live going. So we're going to just have to record this for you, for those of you that were interested in what the effects of Hillary are here in the Arizona desert. Now, you can probably see the hair is kind of blowing around a bit, and we're getting some gusty winds. Now, of course, it's no longer a hurricane. It made landfall sometime Sunday morning in the Baja Peninsula of uh, Mexico. And of course, once it made landfall, once it also got into some cooler waters as well, it lost a ton of its energy. This was at one point, you know, a category four hurricane, quickly downgraded to a tropical storm with about 35 mile per hour winds. Uh, some higher gusts, of course, around it as well. Now, the biggest concern as Hillary continues to push off towards the north and uh, I probably should have mentioned, for those of you that don't know, uh, I was a meteorologist by trade for many years. Uh, still am, but I uh, did it on television. So now this is all just in a private capacity that I'm talking about this. This is by no means official information, anything like that. This is more just an observation of what's taking place here in Arizona. It's uh, getting later in the afternoon. I think it's around oh, 3 4 o'clock. I didn't look at the exact time here, uh, just outside of Phoenix. Uh, in one of our desert preserve areas where you can go hiking and such. And so that's where I'm giving you this latest information from. And now, so far as what's going to happen here in Arizona and in particular in the Phoenix area, we'll get some gusty winds, uh, not terribly strong, uh, 10, 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. Where you'll get some of the strongest winds though is going to be, if you take a look over in the mountain areas, because what happens is the wind, as it gets funneled through the mountains and then through some of the passes and canyons and things like that, that's where it can get even stronger as it's passing through some of those narrow pathways. So that's the reason, especially if you're like in a high profile vehicle, you hear them say, be careful if you're traveling through those areas because you, know, you can get a, a strong gust at a moment's notice. And that's what sometimes can flip a trailer over, uh, tip a camper over, things like that. But again, the overall, uh, Phoenix area will not see tremendous winds uh, because again the system is is downgraded it will become subtropical and just be an area of low pressure and it's projected right now it's going to continue moving up through Southern California off towards Las Vegas then up the Sierra Nevada range then it'll start to fall apart but anywhere along that line there will be the potential for some uh, heavy downpours of rain and also of course some uh, thunderstorms too here in Phoenix probably nothing widespread it'll be a a little more scattered in nature. But the concern always is, if you do have a heavy downpour, keep in mind, if you take a look at the ground and such, it is parched. I mean, parts of this area, we haven't had rain for well over 100, 125 days. So if you start to put down just say even a half, one inch of rain in a rather short period of time, that can create some quick flash flooding. And that's why you gotta be careful and watch out for that. You'll see what we call these desert washes. And they look like just dry creek beds throughout the area. But those uh, washes serve a purpose in the fact that they do funnel water away from the mountains and such. But if say you're out there and you try and drive through one of those or something, that can be bad, bad news. So you don't want to do that. Uh, again, we'll probably see our best chance for some pretty good little rain moving through here to be real spotty, I think. Now, that's just my opinion. I mean, uh, I think most of the heaviest stuff, uh, and we're already getting reports of that, has been over in parts of Southern California, mainly too, as you get up towards uh, Palm Springs, uh, out in the desert areas of California, uh, Death Valley will likely get more rain than they've seen in a long, long time there. And you can bet there'll probably be some flooding there. And then up towards Las Vegas, they've got some flood concerns there. Uh, here in the Phoenix area, again, flooding should not be a major issue. But we will contend with some much needed rain falling here and there. And that's, you know, we always got to look at the, the, the half full, half empty side of the glass, so to speak. The half full side of this is more rain for the southwest, which is traditionally very, very dry this time of year outside of getting some of the monsoon storms. And in reality, 
uh, with what's left of Hillary, some, uh, well, a large degree of the time, some of our monsoon thunderstorms here in Arizona can be far greater so far as damage occurring than what's going to be left of Hillary. Now with Hillary though, as if it starts moving slow, and right now it's moving along at a pretty good clip, I think about 25, 30 miles per hour, but let's say it gets kind of caught up in the mountains or whatever, and it just gets moving really, really slow. Now that's where you get a little concern. If it just starts to stall out and it's got all that moisture wrapped around it, uh, that's where we get those flooding issues. And uh, back to the winds, again, your, your strongest winds which here in Phoenix, we are on the east side of what's going to be left of Hillary as it passes by. The east side tends to have some of the strongest winds uh, because again, if you think about, think about it, it's a counterclockwise rotation. So it comes around like this and whoosh, right there on that right side, uh, it really, really can get incredibly strong. But, but I think for the most part, uh, the Phoenix area, uh, Tucson, Places like that, we're going to come out of this uh, just fine and hopefully receive some really good rains. Further out to the west, though, if you get out towards Kingman, uh, Yuma, and then you get up again towards Las Vegas, that's where we'll likely have some concerns. So that's about it. I'm not really planning on doing any other major updates on the system, at least from the Phoenix perspective, unless, of course, something does change. And right now, it doesn't appear to be the case. If you look off in the distance, too, uh, I don't know if it, the camera really shows it up well. Way out there, you can see kind of some haze and such. I think probably, again, dust may be a bigger problem here with some of the really gusty winds. In fact, I keep getting this little tickle in my throat, and I know that's from the dust that's in the air, and I already have a, a sinus problem, so I'm not looking forward to this. In fact, this morning, my ears felt a little stopped up, and I dread that. That happens every year when I live here. Uh, the ears get stopped up, and oh, just not a lot of fun, but but I feel fine, and I feel fine right now, and I hope you feel fine too. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel and you just tuned in because you saw something about Hillary and everybody's looking at it up, uh, we have a lot of different videos on the channel. We have what we call playlists. Uh, maybe check those out. I've got grief support videos. That's what a lot of people tend to gravitate towards. Then I've got a playlist for travel videos. We've got hundreds of videos of travel all around the country, and then a playlist for uh, uh, cooking demonstrations and restaurant reviews. And there's a lot there. We have over a thousand videos on our channel, I think now, or at least approaching that. So thanks a bunch for checking in with us. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you've never subscribed. We also like the thumbs up. That helps what they call the algorithm. You can also donate to the channel. I've also got a podcast called Love Letters to Pam, and by now you've already flipped over to another video. You're not even listening. I know how it goes. Short attention spans. Hey, but hopefully if you did stick around, you can hear what I always say. Make it a great day, better yet, a better tomorrow, and bye now from uh, near the Phoenix, Arizona area out in the desert.